Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching Doctor Strange. Welcome back to my channel everyone, thank you so much for being here and welcome if you are new. Today we are jumping into another Marvel movie and that is Doctor Strange. This is a Marvel movie that I probably know less about than any other Marvel film that I've ever gotten myself into. When it comes to a lot of the other movies that we've watched together here on this channel, I could either guess what I thought these superheroes powers would be or I maybe knew a little bit about the character. Like when it can, comes to the Hulk, I know that he's big and mean and green. So I knew that going into the movie. That wasn't like a surprise that, oh, he's gonna turn green when he's angry. I already knew that. With Ant-Man, I knew nothing about Ant-Man, but I could figure it out based on the name that he was probably gonna be tiny and really strong. <laughs> With Doctor Strange, I have no idea. I guess if I was going based off of the fact that he's a doctor, I would guess that his powers might be medical related, like he heals people maybe. Um, if not, maybe he's psychic because of the word strange or he time travels. I don't know, I just keep thinking he might time travel, but that's just because I think Doctor Who time travels and I'm just confusing the doctors at this point. But I really know nothing about this movie. I'm going into this one probably more blind than any other Marvel film I've ever sat down to watch with you guys. So that's cool. That'll be exciting. I have no idea who the villain could be, but it should be a fun one. And I'm definitely excited to see Benedict Cumberbatch in one of these movies. Because I know so little about this movie, I think it's best to just keep this intro really short and sweet. But real quick, before we jump on into the movie, I just wanna say, if you like the music that you're hearing right now, it is written by my dear friend, Corey Alexander. And I will link his Spotify in the description bar below. So make sure to go click that link if you like this song and you wanna check out more of his music. I get nothing from you guys doing that other than the joy of knowing that people out there like my friend's music. It just makes me really happy and I feel like it's really cool that I have a friend that makes music. So yeah, feel free to go check out his stuff if you're interested. Also make sure to check out my Patreon down there if you're curious and you wanna catch my full length reactions to everything we watch over here as well as vote in polls and help me decide what I watch next. But I think I have talked long enough and I'm ready to just hop on into this one so if you guys are ready grab a drink grab a snack and let's get into the movie this guy looks like he's dressed for the middle ages oh god oh is that Mads Mads Mick 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 Mickelson I don't know how to pronounce his last name ah why why did you have to behead that man what did he do he just tore a page out of the book where what where do they go guys do they time travel is that what just happened if it's time traveling and if i was right i'm gonna be hella happy but it could just be that they jumped like into a different portal to a different planet or something what the hell she just flipped the flip flip the flip the world <laughs> but only for them they're the only ones affected this is cr what are these guys like sorcerers oh my god even she has weapons that come back to her like everybody else that we've met <laughs> is it the doctor yeah, he is a doctor. It's cool to be starting off a superhero movie with like a suspenseful medical drama. <sighs> Jesus. You know, I could never be a surgeon, man. I do not have steady hands like that. I wonder what's gonna happen to him that's gonna make him like a superhero from a brilliant neurosurgeon. He definitely seems like he's got a bit of an ego. He's driving like a dick in the rain, barely paying attention. Oh my God, this is my worst nightmare. This is why I hate people who drive like this. I hate to say it, but he's an asshole. He deserves to be taken down a peg. I just hope he didn't hurt anybody else. I hate people who text and drive. What are all those things in his hands? He's not gonna be able to be a surgeon again, isn't it? No one could have done better. He's gonna say, I could have. I could have done better. Yeah, well, you did this to yourself, you jackass. You were texting and speeding on a highway. I don't have any empathy for him at all. Literally zero. He did this to himself and he probably hurt other people. Wow, I've never disliked a protagonist this fast, I feel like, in a Marvel movie. But this is where, you know, he's getting taken down a peg. He's gonna have to check his ego. This is where he's gonna turn into house. He's gonna be all moody and depressed. Is Christine, like, stopping by and checking in on him a lot now or something? There are other things that can give your life meaning. Like what? Like you. Wow. And this is the part where you apologize. Yeah. This is the part where you leave. Wow. He really reminds me a lot of House right now. This is crazy. He even sounds like him. Another drag of humanity for you to work on. You care so much, don't you? How dare you, you piece of 
That is so sad, man. He's pushing away the one person who's there for him. Well, we're really starting early with the fall of the protagonist. Usually we get it later in the movie. Jonathan Pangborn, C7, C8, spinal cord injury, complete. I found my teacher and my mind was elevated. Is the teacher the woman that we saw at the beginning of this movie? The place you're looking for is called Kamartage. Good luck. I like that guy. He's like so mysterious, but he gives all the info he needs, you know? Kamartage? You know where Kamartage is? Wait, he didn't figure out where it was until he got to Nepal? <laughs> so now he's just asking random people on the street? Like, you didn't do some research? <gasps> He's just saying it out loud and people are, uh-oh, people are noticing. Maybe it's a good thing he's asking people in the street then about it. Mr. Strange. She knows him already. Doctor, actually. Not anymore, surely. Ooh. Isn't that why you're here? Oh, she knows everything about him. Can she just read minds or did she do her research? So you figured out a way to reprogram nerve cells to self-heal? I know how to reorient the spirit wow. to better heal the body. Oh my God, teach me your ways, honey. I have some neck pain that I would like to take care of. I see through you. Holy sh She just knocked his spirit out of his body. What the f You entered the astral dimension, a place where the soul exists apart from the body. Is that where they were fighting in the beginning of the movie when the whole world went sideways? Whoa, I want to go on this ride, man. Teach me. <laughs> no. 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 Wow. He's not ready. It's like teaching a Jedi. You might have to make sure the person's ready. He reminds <gasps> you of Kaisilius. Oh, she I taught Master Kaisilius. I cannot lead another gifted student to power only to lose him. See, it is like teaching a Jedi. You gotta pick the right ones. Kaisilius still has the stolen pages. Perhaps Kamataj could use a man like Strange. This guy's so receptive to him. I probably would have done what this lady did, honestly. I would have probably kicked him out too. Uh, what's this? Shandala? Time launcher? The Wi-Fi password. No way. We're not savages. We really? <laughs> That's great. I love that. All the infinite universes to explore and they still have Wi-Fi. <laughs> it's from Christine. And he said all those hateful, horrible words to her. We harness energy to make magic. They are sorcerers. So her weapons probably come back to her because she can make them come back to her. It's not like a boomerang effect. What are those? Oh, these are one of the special Agent books. One's private collection. Ah, that was one, one of the pages was stolen from him. This one's got pages missing. Oh, he found the first the one with the page Daniel missing that quick. Study of time. One of the rituals was stolen by a former master. Oh, here he is. Master Caesalius. Oh, there's his page. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, it's the evil planet that's always hungry. It's the it's the thing we saw before. Doctor Strange, you gotta learn quick. They're gonna need your help, I'm assuming. Mastery of the sling ring is essential to the mystic arts. They allow us to travel throughout the multiverse. All you need to do is focus. Oh no. What happens if you travel somewhere but then you can't get back? Because you can't focus. <laughs> Silence your ego. Yes! And your power. It's all about the ego, always. Is this Everest? Everest. Oh my god, I was actually thinking, oh, it's Everest. I'm like, no, they're probably on a different planet. And they're actually on Everest, that's great. At this temperature, a person can last for 30 minutes before suffering permanent loss of function. Oh. What? Surrender, Stephen. Oh my god, what a harsh lesson to teach him. Are you serious? What a crazy <laughs> She's throwing him into the deep end real quick with that one. She should have at least given him a coat. This is rude. <laughs> also, if they're like near the top of Everest, there's also like less oxygen up there. You're in the death zone if you're near the top. So this is just hard. <gasps> oh my God, he did it. Yay. Oh, it worked. Good. Books on astral projection. You're not ready for that. Try me, Beyonce. <laughs> oh, come on, just give me the book. No. No. Oh. I, I really like this librarian. He's so sassy. He's listening to Beyonce. <laughs> Holy moly, he's studying so fast. He is advancing really quickly. I guess being smart helps. <laughs> you are now inside the And being curious to learn. Ever present but undetected. The real world isn't affected by what happens here. Oh, that's good. So that's where they were fighting. It was the mirror dimension in the beginning of the movie. And don't lose your way, like I said this. A brilliant <laughs> student, but he was proud. Headstrong. Like you, doctor. He left Kamatash. His disciples followed him like sheep. Oh, he had disciples. Oh, no. That's who all those people when are. When do I get my relic? When you're ready. Well, I think I'm ready. 
You're ready when the relic decides you're ready. Oh. Yeah, he really thinks he's ready for everything, and they do a good job of taking him down a peg and being like, no, you're not ready yet. It takes time. Oh, he's writing an email? Oh, to Christine. Yeah, yeah up, man. All you should be writing to her, man, is I'm sorry, I'm an asshole. That's all you should be saying to her. She deserves better. Oh no, is he taking this book? You're not ready. You're not supposed to be reading this. He's going to start some shit, isn't he? Oh my God. What is that going to do? What is happening with his apple? Is he going back and forward in time or something? Don't repeat it though. The dark dimension. Curiosity could have gotten you killed. Jesus, you man. Space time continuum. You were breaking it. We're not prophets. When are you gonna start telling me what we are? I mean, dude, you're like a sorcerer, isn't that the thing? Well, heroes like the Avengers protect the world from physical dangers. We sorcerers save sorcerers, see, against exactly. All mystical threats. Agamotto built three sanctums in places of power where great cities now stand. The sanctums protect the world, and we sorcerers protect the sanctums. You guys haven't been doing a good job of protecting the world from everything. I mean, aliens have gotten in. Agamotto dwells in the dark dimension. A being of infinite power, endless hunger, and a quest to invade every universe. Yeah, it's the guy that looks like a cat, right? <laughs> looks like a cat to me. I don't know why, like a black cat. And he hungers for Earth most of all. He hungers for Earth most of all. Why? No! Wait, what? I'm sorry, what the f just happened? What happened to them? Is Mordo okay? Oh my god, he's somewhere totally different. <gasps> You can change it! I want that room. I want that room so that I can just go to different nature spots and go on hikes. That would be freaking epic. He's so crazy. He just tinkers with stuff without even uh, being concerned. Oh my God, Benedict Cumberbatch, hide. You're not ready for this. No. Do they find him because of the thing he did with the eye? Like, I'm just wondering. Or maybe they just decided to go back and start some in Nepal. I don't know. Change it! Change it, Steven! Change it! <gasps> Holy sh is that the cloak he's gonna end up with? I'm just wondering, like, is he the- <gasps> The cloak is following him? Oh my god, it's a relic and it chose him. Is that what just happened? The cloak says no, Steven. <laughs> oh, it's like a thing that takes a prisoner? Oh, no wonder it wanted him to grab that. That's hilarious. Don't listen what to him. You live forever? Really? That sounds awful. I don't want to live forever. What about the people you killed? Tiny momentary specs within an indifferent universe. That's what he used to say. Wow, it's really a miracle that she took him on to train him then. The ritual gives me the power to overthrow the ancient one and tear her sanctums down to let the dark... The dark out. dimension doesn't sound good, man. I still, I think you need a better pitch. You've lost oh no. Oh no. Oh no, he lost his sling ring, he didn't have it on. Or did it fall off? Oh God, this is so bad. Was that the ring? What was it that the cloak just passed to him? It is, it was his ring. He's at his hospital. <gasps> oh my God, he's in the astral plane. Is he gonna help her in the astral plane? Just a little. <gasps> Please be careful with the needle. <laughs> she can see him. <gasps> oh no, oh no, oh no. Why didn't the portal close? Okay, good. I'm really glad that they're fighting in a way where she can't see them because this would just be too much for a doctor trying to keep a patient alive. Holy moly, Her his physical body affected his astral body? Up the voltage and hit me again. No, their heart's beating. Just, just do, it. do it. Oh God. Holy moly, he killed, he killed him. Technically, Christine killed him. Is he, is he okay? Wait. Ah! <laughs> Probably feels really bad that he killed someone because he's a doctor. He's supposed to save lives. I swore an oath to do no harm, and I have just killed a man. I'm not doing that again. You became a doctor to save one life above all others, your own. Oh, she calling him out through the ego. There is no other way. You lack imagination. No, Stephen. You lack. Spine. Oh, how ironic, because he's a neurosurgeon. But I disagree. I think he does have an ego, and he was just trying to save his own life. But he doesn't want to kill people either. Like, he did swore an oath to protect and help people live. So I believe him on that. The mirror dimension. Oh, he just... You can't affect the real world in here. Their connection to the dark dimension makes them more powerful in the mirror dimension. Oh, that's they great. They the real world, but they can still kill us. Well, no one told him that. This is what happens when you don't tell him things or answer his questions. He does stupid stuff. Is that Stanley? Oh my God, he's splitting the city. <gasps> oh no. 
This is a lot to look at. Oh no, what was that? Oh, his ring, his sling ring, he got it back. Man, I feel really bad for Steven. He's just really getting thrown into the thick of it here. And he was not prepared. I don't think he was ready. Dormammu deceives you. His eternal life is not paradise, but torment. Oh, you know, I'm understanding it now because the reason he sees eternal life as such a good thing is because he lost his entire family and the ones he loved. But like eternal life sounds like hell, man. Being immortal is awful. I wouldn't want to be immortal. I'm surprised that this many people around him want to be immortal. She was killed. Oh no. <gasps> Where did they just send her to? Oh my God. You can't save her, man. I think it's too late for her, man. I feel like she's gonna die. Maybe not. Maybe she will survive. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna go in the astral plane right now or something? Yes, he is! Arrogance and fear still keep you from learning the simplest and most significant lesson of all. Which is? It's not about you. Ha! <laughs> I love her, man. When you first came to me, you asked me how I was able to heal Jonathan Pangborn. He healed himself. He uses magic to walk. Constantly. Constantly. So I could have my hands back again. My old life. And the world would be all the lesser for it. Because uh, they need you. She's gone. Oh, wow, man. Oh. He's popping the collar? Stop. <laughs> I like the cloak, man. <laughs> the cloak has such a personality. It's hilarious. Oh, no. Oh, no. Domamo is coming. Oh, this is so bad. Nothing can stop you. Not necessarily. What is he thinking? What can stop him? The eye? He's going back in time. That is unbelievable. The thing they were so mad at him for using, he needed it. That's great. I thought Caecilius was forced to rewind in time. Is he not? He can fight through it? This is so trippy. This whole movie is like one big space-time continuum trip. Wong. Is he gonna bring Wong back to life? Breaking the laws of nature, I know. Oh my god. Well, don't stop now. <laughs> what just happened? Why is time frozen? Is it because he died and he was rewinding time? Oh, he's going into different dimensions or something? Or different planes? Where is he going? Is he going to talk with Dormammu or some <laughs> What is he doing? Oh, yep, that's Dormammu. See, he kind of looks like he's got cat eyes to me, but he's definitely not a cat now that I'm seeing his face better. I've come to bargain. Oh no, what a bold move on his part. He's just like, let me come and bargain with you. Oh no. Steven, he just rewound time, didn't he? Guys, he's a time traveler! He really is a time traveler! I've come to bargain. What is happening? It's Groundhog Day, b Endless loop. Oh my god, he time. just sucked himself an endless loop time. How will he break out of the loop? Even if Dormammu agrees, how will he break out of it? But everyone on Earth will live. Did he seriously sacrifice himself to protect everyone on Earth? Like, there's no way realistically to break out of this, right? Like, how would he break out of this? Make this stop. He hates it. He hates the loop. And your assault on my world. Never come back. Get up and fight. Oh my God. We can oh, the time loop is happening while he's up there. Guys, this movie is so cool, man. Oh, <gasps> there he is. Wow, I love that he can just, like, hover and with that cave. He looks so fly. What is this? Eternal life is part of the one. Oh, he's becoming a part of the one. What a sad, disgusting way to go. Again, I really cannot understand why he had so many disciples. He really should have stolen the whole book because the warnings, the warnings come after the spell. <laughs> <gasps> Wong is laughing at his joke! That's oh, funny. <laughs> oh, that's good, man. Wong is such a good part. What a fun part to play where you just have to be deadpan and serious and like a Debbie Downer the whole time until the very last moment of the movie. Then you get to have an adorable chuckle. I love that. Man, they really need this guy on the Avengers. Can like the regular Avengers fight in the mirror dimension if Doctor Strange just puts them all there? Because then we could avoid destroying New York every time. You'll wear the eye of Akimoto once you've mastered its powers. Oh. Until then not to walk the streets wearing an infinity stone. A what? It's an infinity stone. Earth has no sorcerer supreme to defend it. We must be ready. We'll be ready.
How are you going to be ready? Oh my god, he really went from just being a doctor to having a really big part to play in this world now. I mean, not that being a doctor is a small part, but you know what I'm saying. He still has his watch from Christine, and his hands still shake. After everything he's capable of, he still can't get his hands to stop shaking. It's because it's not what he's focused on, I guess. That's crazy. Wow. All right. Snaps for that movie. That was pretty cool. It has been brought to my attention that I forgot the end credit scenes for Doctor Strange. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's a different day. I'm in a different outfit. I forgot to watch the end credit scenes again. I keep doing this because it just feels so weird to me. I keep forgetting that it's a thing. Like sometimes I'll remember, sometimes I'll forget. I just have never had to do that for any other movie. So, um,. Apologies that I keep forgetting this from time to time. And when you're in theaters, it's a little bit easier because everyone stays seated and then that kind of reminds you like, oh right, there's there's gonna be something. But here, when I'm just by myself, I'm like, hey, it's over. <laughs> so Earth has wizards now. <gasps> He's meeting with Thor? We're looking for my father. Allow me to help you. Oh. Oh, hell yeah, that's pretty cool. So is Doctor Strange gonna be in Thor Ragnarok? Cause guys, that's really cool. I also love it anytime I see Thor in like street clothes and not his cape, cause I'm not really a fan of his outfit. But he carried you into Kamataj on a stretcher. Oh, <gasps> Mordo, and this is the guy that healed, that healed himself, yeah. Oh God, Mordo, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do to him? Are you f Serious, Mordo? Oh, Mordo, you're gonna be a villain now. Come on, man. Too many sorcerers. He wasn't causing any harm. Like, he was doing absolutely nothing wrong. He was just working in his shop, living his life, walking around. He didn't want to do magic. That's, he never got the point of the sorcerer thing. He just learned how to fix himself. That's up, man. Although I will say, uh, Chiwetel Ejiofor is a great actor and, uh, seeing him as a villain is probably going to be really compelling because he really does well with those types of roles. Oh my God. The actor who played Wong was Benedict Wong. That's hilarious. Is that why they called his character Wong? They just were like, oh, he's, he's the second Benedict. <laughs> so we'll just call him Wong. <laughs> is that why he did that? <laughs> Or is that like a real character in the comic books, guys? You'll have to let me know because that's hilarious if they literally did that to him just because that's his last name in real life and because there's two Benedicts in this movie. Mads Mikkelsen. Yeah, I don't know why. Part of me like wants to say Mil Mil Milkison sometimes. Sometimes I want to say Mikkelsen. I have a hard time remembering that name, but it's interesting seeing him in a movie again. It was also really nice to see Chiwetel Ejiofor again because, um, starting to see more of his work. I really, really enjoy his performance a lot um, in what I've seen him in thus far. And he's got a stacked resume. I definitely want to familiarize myself with more of his work. Things like 12 Years a Slave. I'm not necessarily sure um, if I'll watch that here on YouTube, but that's a movie that I've definitely been meaning to check out. And thus far, I really have enjoyed him in a lot of what I've seen him in. So yeah, this was a fun movie. I really enjoyed how heady it was and how trippy it was and how much they were playing with time and dimension. It kept things really interesting and it kept me on my toes. I thought it was interesting to meet a protagonist who was so unlikable from the beginning, just such a piece of work and such a guy with a horrible ego. And I really enjoyed the fact that most of the movie was watching him get torn apart and torn, taken down a peg. and really having to get his ego checked a lot because it really irked me in the beginning seeing the way that he was. And by the end, you know, I definitely like him a bit more. And um, yeah, he's a cool superhero for sure. And just seeing his own perceptions and ideas be challenged about what he thinks his purpose is in the world and not just his purpose, but really discovering that maybe the reason he wanted to be a doctor before wasn't for the right reasons. It maybe, you know, some of it had to do with wanting to save lives, but some of it had to do with ego and him now realizing that the thing that he's meant to do in order to save the most amount of lives isn't necessarily the thing that's going to get him the most flashy amount of attention or fulfill his ego in the same way. And he had to come to terms with that. And I really, really enjoyed that because I definitely like watching characters have their egos challenged. It's why I enjoy enjoyed Iron Man 3 so much more than Iron Man 2 because I liked seeing Tony really have some mental health struggles and have to come to terms with them and have to challenge his 
own sense of self-worth in order to work on his relationships with other people, mainly Pepper. That's why I like watching films that really focus on character development and growth. So I really liked this. I definitely enjoyed this movie a lot. I'll be really interested to see if Doctor Strange pops into some Avengers movies. I'm assuming he will. Uh, I just don't know when, but a lot of you guys have been joking with me every time I say, oh, I didn't think we were gonna see this character again. And you're like, Natalie, that's kind of what Marvel does. <laughs> so we'll probably see him again, I'm assuming so. So that will be a fun day when that happens. But for now, that is all I have for you guys in this video. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out. lets me know that you guys wanna see more content like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Until the next one, stay golden. Bye.